Welcome. This is John Baker and I'm here to talk about some additional enhancements that we've made to NX9. Today we're going to talk about a new enhancement added to surface modeling. It's called a fill surface. And what we use it for is, is if you have a model, for example, in which I've got it modeled up to a certain point and I know that I need to create a surface here to kind of fill this in, I, I, I look at it and say, oh, gee, this is kind of complicated. How would I go about doing that? We have this new function called fill surface designed specifically for this. First thing I need to do is add an additional piece of geometry here. In this case, a bridge curve. Just give me a boundary to bound this surface. And then we go back in and we select the new fill surface routine. And what we do is we select the edges around the opening here. And then the curve at the end, which will close the boundary off. And now we have the surface. And you can see I get a nice preview of the surface. I get an idea of how smooth it is and so on. And when I go ahead to, ex and I can also notice here that it's G1 continuous all around the edges, means just tangent, which is what I'm interested in. And there I have now the smooth surface that has been uh, blended in and uh, created my, my part. And basically what it did was just exactly what it said. It filled in the space for me. Now this is sort of a, uh, a simple part and, uh, and might represent a, a modeling technique. But where this is very useful is in situations where we have a model, in this case a very complex model with lots of faces and edges on it. And I brought it in uh, from let's say iJes or Step and I expect it to be a solid model. And so I'm going to go into analysis here. First thing I want to do is find out you know, how big this thing is. So I want to go and analyze it and I, I can't select it. It's asking me to select a solid body. It's obviously not a solid body. In fact, I can kind of look at it here, come in here and say, yep, it's a sheet body. Something failed in the model. Either the model was bad to start with or something in the translator missed something. So next thing I might want to do is go in and we do what we call an examine geometry. I'm going to select everything in the model and check it and ah yes there's some edges here. Ah I can see right here there is some openings. So what we'll do is we'll get out of here and we'll go back into that new fill surface routine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that opening and pick this opening here and now I've closed up the model now and you notice here there's an actual nice option here it says patch into the part. Basically what this means is is that since I'm filling in a surface, if I get to the point where I'm filling the surface and it can actually turn it into a solid, it will do it for me automatically. For example, I can now go into my analysis and pick that solid and I can run my analysis on it and get my mass property information. So there's a, a new function called a fill surface. It can be used either as part of your construction to sort of handle those sort of odd situations or in this case actually help you clean up models that are being brought into NX, maybe from another system, and we need to compensate or, or uh, fill in a few missing, missing parts to it. So this is it'll be a very powerful and easy to use function. Thank you very much.